In 2017, I started a series where I would read poorly written creepypastas and give pointers on why they're poorly written. Maybe grammatical issues, maybe the story's lopsided, maybe even an abrupt ending that leaves the reader unsatisfied, or just plain not scary. I did this series for three years until I cancelled it in 2021 due to severe burnout from trying to do it on a monthly basis. The year is now 2024, and I got the itch to bring the series back, albeit in an annual series that runs every week in the month of October. So we're starting anew, starting fresh, and with a positive attitude for this revival series. So sit down, get comfy, grab your, your soggy spaghetti, rubbery rigatoni, some mushy macaroni. <laughs> get whatever refreshments are of your preference and get cozy. This is Undercut Creepypasta, and I'm glad to be back. Let's get the show on the road. Welcome, one and all, to the debut episode of the revival of Undercooked Creepypasta, the show where I read and give my thoughts on creepypastas that I find unsavory. Today's episode is about a story by the name of I Refuse to Play Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. It was found on the r slash creepypasta subreddit, and um, it, it's just as a side note, it was presented as this big giant wall of text here. Absolutely wonderful, so this is going to be a thrill to read through. As always, there will be an archive link in the description so you can read along for yourself. Now, let's begin. The year is 2001, and my grandmother just gave my brother and I a GameCube for Christmas. We never had the privilege to have new consoles. It was always a generation behind, like when PS2 came out, we just got PS1. And when Game Boy Advance was released, we had just got our hands on the black and white version of Game Boy. So to get a new console when it was released and not many of our friends had it at the time, was really special. My brother and I played all the usuals, Pikmin, Wind Waker, and the Super Mario Classics, of course. However, the one game that stood out to me the most that I loved was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. I loved playing the first two on PlayStation 1, so when we got the new console, I couldn't wait to play the third with an all-new controller. I loved playing the first two on PlayStation 1, so when we got the new console, I couldn't wait to play the third with an all-new controller, new graphics, it was like playing something new that no one else got to experience at the time. I loved it, and it's still my favorite Tony Hawk out of the series. However, to this day, I refuse to pick up or go anywhere near it. I used to play the hell out of it, like hours on end, every morning to sunrise when I wasn't in school. I, th I think you meant morning to sunset. I, I <laughs> Morning to sunrise makes no sense. <laughs> Moving on. Friday nights up till 8 p.m. children's bedtime and Saturday morning 6 a.m. just to be the first one up to play it. Needless to say, I was obsessed with this game and none of my siblings wanted to go against me because I knew too much they would end losing and throw a tantrum. Eh, sucks to suck, I'd say. Months passed as I became a pro at the game until one Saturday on an autumn eve, exactly 5 p.m. on a Thursday afternoon, I believe it was October 23rd. Actually, if I remember correctly, was the day I experienced something I seriously cannot debunk. And there was not a single solitary comma in that sentence. That, that holy, holy run-on sentence, Batman. And the word until actually had two L's in it, wow. Another thing I want to point out here is that they said, uh, until one Saturday on an autumn eve, exactly 5 p.m. on a Thursday afternoon. They, they can't even get their days straight. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not good. That's not good for the story when you can't even keep up with your days. I come home from school as usual, hey mom, what's for dinner, okay bye mom, and off I was to my room for THPS 3. My brother didn't come home for another two hours, and my sister was still like five years old at the time, so I was able to play hassle free, no one bugging me. I start the cube up, wait for the loading screen, grab a snack because I knew the intros and game menus took a while to get going. I run downstairs, grab a gogurt and bagel bites my mom made and head upstairs. That's when everything started to go south. 
I look at my screen expecting for it to say, press A button to begin, but instead, everything is distorted. Its color had drained and the soundtrack is like, mutated if that makes sense, almost sounds slowed down like demonic. So I think to myself, okay, odd, probably just dusty, some GameCube games tend to act funny when not cleaned properly, so I thought nothing of it. I load up my save file that I have been working on for a few weeks, I was trying to get 100% in every level so I can have a fully accomplished game. My favorite level starts up, Canada. For those who have never played THPS3, Canada is a really cool level from the design, the missions and the certain parts you're able to ride on like logs, snow covered rails and cars. It was my all time favorite level to play. So I'm, with no apostrophe, loading in just waiting again, it's taking longer than usual and I'm with an apostrophe hoping the game doesn't crash as it did a few times before thinking okay hopefully this goes through, no need to unplug the console just yet. And again, not a single comma in that whole sentence. Finally success. I'm loaded in, the missions start with the well-known DJ record scratch sound effect, I'm pumped and ready to play. The two minute timer starts and I gun it. I start collecting the skate letters, bang out the easy combo line it asks for, and even complete the pro high score mission all within the time limit. I finish, I'm like boom easy stuff, game freezes. I'm getting worried because it was actually a good run, and it was my first run so I wanted it to save. The soundtrack starts to skip, the colors get very distorted like the draining effect it had earlier. I think nothing of it, just hope it passes, give it time before shutting it off. Thankfully it passes and saves the level. I click restart as I have more missions to complete in order to get 100%. Here's where I start to get chills just typing it. The game does not start normal, there is no music, the missions do not appear, there is no timer and the NPCs that were on the map are no longer there. It's literally just my skateboard, the character riding it, and the map, nothing else. Okay odd, but I can still move around, probably just a glitch it'll fix itself, however it didn't. I ride around for like 6 minutes or so just doing tricks, riding rails and hearing silence move from one ear to another just the grinding and trick sound effects is all that comes through my chunky old school TV. Might as well just shut it off. I remember thinking since nothing was changing when boom soundtrack plays except it's skipping. Is the Ramones built Creek pop? <laughs> I think you mean Blitzkrieg Bop, not Biltzkrieg Pop. Bro, come on now. Come on now. You're better than this. It's the Ramones Biltzkrieg Pop. Yeah, I remember that one. Just playing the first five seconds over and over and over. It was more annoying than scary, honestly. The real fucked parts didn't come till after. The song just stopped completely and my character stopped moving. The sounds went quiet as in, no more grinding sounds, no more background map noise, just nothing. Quiet. I'm like, nah, forget this, I'm just gonna restart, it's wasting my time. I try to unplug and the soundtrack starts again and my character starts to move as if the game knew what I was trying to do and prevented me from shutting it off. Okay? Odd, but whatever, it's working, right? Wrong. This time, it's worse, the character refuses to skate forward, it's only going backwards for some reason. The music is skipping and playing in reverse, sounds really demonic, mind you I'm like 13 at the time, so this very scary and kinda traumatizing. I'm basically just rolling back and not able to do any tricks while the soundtrack just plays in reverse and is going quite fast, mind you. This is the first time it's ever happened, so I'm just like, huh. That's when it happens. The worst thing I've ever laid eyes on that still haunts my dreams from time to time. I hit a tree in the game next to one of the parked cars, and a face pops up red, like so red it was starting to hurt my eyes, and the TV speakers just start squealing like an old cassette tape that's broken, making an ee hee 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 sound. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what? An E. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. I freak out, try to unplug my GameCube, but I can't get the cord out. It's too thick, and the sounds just gets louder and more distorted. The character isn't even visible at this point. It's just a red face screaming at me in reverse. I'm almost crying at this point because I don't know what the hell is going on. Finally, I unplug the console. The game shuts off, but the red face and screen stays on for some reason. It's frozen. Must be the TV now then. Shut off the TV. Face is still there, red, just staring at me, no noise being made. It clicks off. TV is then broken, and GameCube refuses to turn on again. My father ended up getting a new TV, and my grandmother brought the game and the GameCube back to GameStop, explained what happened, they said it's never happened before, and they don't know what caused it. Nothing else happened, random capitalized word happened, after that. My grandma got me a new GameCube, and I actually never touched it again. From that day one, I think you mean from that day on, but you, you, put, you put one in. I not only never touched a Tony Hawk game, but I can no longer see pictures of the GameCube or cover art for Tony Hawk Pro Skater without legit shitting my pants. Recap, yes, this sounds creepypasta as fuck. Uh, I can't help but long sigh when they mention creepypastas in a creepypasta, but it, it is what it is. Recap, yes, this sounds creepypasta as fuck, but I wish I could have recorded it back into the day. I understand I was young, but I have very good memory to this day. I chalk it up to just weird video game and electrical glitches. However, a part of me still thinks, what if? What if it wasn't and all that happened because it was haunted or something? Anyways, let me know if this similar situation ever happened to you or any creepy video game stuff happened. TLDR, Tony Hawk games are creepy and I will never play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 again. Wow. Okay, wow. Like, okay, where do I begin with this one? First off, this story has more grammatical issues than a fucking fifth grader's essay. The punctuation was inconsistent as hell, it was all over the place. There were some times where the writer used an apostrophe properly, and then there were other times with the same words that they didn't use an apostrophe at all. It almost reads like it was written by more than one person, and one was a little bit more grammatically challenged than the other. Spelling issues, capitalization issues, you know, the whole gambit, you know, the whole nine yards. I mean, it even starts out, the whole story starts out with a grammatical error. The year is 2001, and my grandmother just gave my brother and I a GameCube for Christmas. It should be, just gave me and my brother a GameCube for Christmas. And I'm not saying English is easy, it's far from easy. In English, there are just these little idiosyncratic things that you have to really look out for, that a lot of people just don't know about. It's like, how do you know where to use I and where to use me or myself? You know, I, ad I do admit it is difficult. But the one part, and I did pick this out when I was reading it, if you remember, it was the sentence, I became a pro at the game until one Saturday on an autumn eve exactly 5 p.m. on a Thursday afternoon, I believe it was October 23rd. So they first said one Saturday on an autumn eve, and then they go on to say, right after exactly 5 p.m. on a Thursday afternoon. It's like, at the very least, pay attention <laughs> to what you're writing and uh, be consistent. That's just the one little little nugget that kind of pissed me off. But yeah, grammar issues, spelling issues, punctuation issues, and the most important part, is it scary? No, it is not scary. The scary part, the money shot basically boils down to Big Red Face occupies my screen with reverse screaming in the background and I unplug my TV and the face is still there and then it cuts off. That's it. That's it. But at the end of the day, do I think this story could be salvaged? I actually think it could. I think you could have work on the, the scary bit some more, but put it... Put it in the time of like 2001, 2002, make it like, 
you know, a user went onto a GameFAQs forum and started posting about the strange findings that they had in THPS3 and just make the story revolving around the thread. I think it would really benefit from that, honestly. You know, for instance, take an all-time hood classic like Candle Cove. It was, it, it, the story was written from the perspective of a board thread, and I think it really benefited from that format. And I think this story could benefit from a similar format, like as I said before, a GameFAQs forum thread. You know, don't don't be let down by something like this. I know people can do better. It takes some practice and more experience in writing, and I do try to keep my criticism constructive and not destructive, as I do at the end of the day want to see beginner writers thrive and make better stuff. And even beyond that, this is just my opinion. You know, you, you can take it or you can leave it, it doesn't matter. But I do think that the story can benefit from a format shift to a form thread, and that's where I'm gonna leave it. So let's go ahead and plug it into the old shitometer here. I'm gonna give it a solid three out of 10 dog shits. It's pretty bad, but I still think there are some bits and pieces here that can be salvaged into something that's a lot better. And that was Undercooked Creepypasta. I refuse to play Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave your thoughts down below. Like this video and share it with your friends and I will see you all next time. Man, I am really guzzling down my hot water with lemon and honey. I really... My vocal cords are getting dry quick.